Yes, and we want to know more on the update, so we're now connected with our uh, Philippines correspondent in Manila, Camille Elamia. Hi, Camille. What can you tell us from what you see on the ground right now? Right now, we are still at a loss on where the wake and burial of the former president, Fidel V. Ramos, as, as we call him, FBR, will be held. The last thing we heard from the family is that they are requesting for the public to respect their privacy. We are not sure if the wake will be held in Man Metro Manila or in his hometown of Pangasinan, which is maybe five hours to six hours north of the capital, Manila. Um, Ramos has been, or ha Ramos has had a very colorful political history. He's a graduate of the prestigious U.S. Um, Military Academy at West Point, and then he became the henchman or one of the implementers of form of the late dictator Ferdinand Marcus's martial law, with, who is also his second cousin. But eventually, when tides have turned, um, Ramos uh, defected from the camp of his cousin and aligned himself with um, President Cory Aquino. So Ramos was a key figure in the restoration of democracy in the Philippines. Now, he had previously said that he has already atoned for the sins he had committed during the Marshall regime um, by participating in democracy and also by um, heading or leading the military after martial law. Uh, Bongbong Marcos, the current president now, although his father um, was uh, was one of the uh, was one of the was one of those at the losing end because of Mark um, Ramos's defection, uh, condoled with the family now and said that Marcos is uh, Ramos is not just a key statesman of the Philippines, but he's also a part of the family owing to their relationship, like their father or cousins. Um, Ramos is also being credited during his um, time as president. I remember, I think the first Philippine president that I was really aware of was, Mar uh, was Ramos because that was during my childhood years. And he was being credited for the breaking up of big monopolies um, in transportation and in communication. It was also him who is being credited for the um, revival of the economy. It was during his time that the Philippine economy was tagged as the tiger economy. However, the 1997 um, financial crisis happened. And one key legacy of Ramos is his um, fighting the communist rebels. And also the bro he also brokered peace with the Muslim separatists in Mindanao, which is in southern Philippines. It's a very sad day for many Filipinos, but um, we are still waiting for the schedule of the wake and the burial of our former president. All right, Camille, thank you so much for your report. And once again, would like to extend our condolences to all of the Philippines, uh, Filipinos right uh, there. Well, we're with you. And uh, thank you once again for the latest updates from Manila.